Well, hello friends. Welcome to Maria's Miscellany. We're in this video, I'm so excited to be opening my September Postal Love um, envelope that I received. And um, yes, so I actually started my subscription in August, but I did not do an opening of the envelope in August. I just, you know, I was so excited when I got it. I just opened it and looked in it and everything. And but I have been using some of my pieces from that um in my projects and I've mentioned it here and there. But in any case, I thought before um <laughs> I went a little crazy here. Let me go ahead and turn on the camera and open this envelope. And first of all, um she has this um envelope wrapped up in uh, in like cling wrap so look this is what the cling wrap is actually stamped because that's where the, they stamp it but she wraps it in cling wrap so that it would not get messed up you know in the mail so that is really cool i'm amazed that they even let her do that i don't know that in the u.s they would that they would allow that that's interesting but anyway um so yeah so you get all these lovely stamps from Belgium. I believe this comes from Belgium. I already took out her label and everything. But look at this nice crinkly envelope. It's not quite um not quite glassine or anything. It's it's just a really nice paper, you know, with that crinkly sound. And look at this. It's like a privacy envelope too. It's got that pattern inside. And she it, it opens on the side here and then she put a little tiny piece of uh washi that's got like a stamp on it too like a fake stamp so let's see what's in here and i will go ahead and link a postal loves um patreon in the description box um if you're interested she's got different levels of uh subscriptions the least expensive in us dollars is about 750 i believe and um, so this is what you get. First of all, the envelope in itself is a treat. And um, the last, the first envelope I got in August was just a regular envelope. I really love this one with the, um, you know, black, uh, red and blue lines all around it. And let's see what we got. And it's all real ephemera. Like it's not, you know, printables or anything. So this looks like a wine label, maybe. Uh, let's see. Vaughn, Yes. So that's a wine label. That is really cool. It's a little embossed here on the letters. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, awesome. So we got some wine labels this time around. I've never had wine labels. I mean, I don't know how, if she gets these, like, if these come to her, you know, they don't look like they've ever been on a wine bottle. So I'm thinking this, these were probably ones that were not used, but... I don't know. Or maybe somebody carefully took them off of the wine bottle. I don't know how you would get these, but that is so cool. They look so crisp and new, but they are nice and, um, you know, vintage. Oh, I got two of these. Awesome. From 86. Oh, no, that's a phone number. Fermentation. Oh, this is like all in French. That's really cool. Love French. Okay. Me. Stay. Oh, and some little uh, music from. Uh, Community. It looks like maybe from like a hymn book. It just has that appearance of a hymn book. Ooh, I'm so excited about these cigar labels. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just go through here. Okay, and then here's a, a little um, dictionary page from Excellent. Yeah, it's French. Love it. One, two, three dictionary pages. Got some E and F. <laughs> And then this little hymn book page. Love it. Look at the big stuff first. Oh my goodness. How beautiful is that? I love that. It's a postcard. Got a postcard in the last one too. I don't know if that's something she includes in every package. But look how beautiful this postcard. I love it. Is that 1764? That's what it says. I don't know if it'll focus, but say the 1764 there. Wow. I don't know that this is actually that old. Really? Might be. This is made in France. Beautiful. Okay, here's another wine label. Oh, this is water. Pour nettoyer les cuivres. Nettoyer, that means clean. 
So this is some sort of products, chemical products. So it's some sort of label for like a cleaner, I believe. Cool. Vernice is uh, yeah, I know a little bit of French because I took it for I took several years of French in like high school and then even my college um, <laughs> my college language uh, course was French. So um, if I had somebody to practice with, I could probably be more fluent, but I just know the basics. <laughs> okay, look at these awesome tickets. 30 cents and 40 cents and 45 cents. How cool is that? Definitely different for any from any other tickets that I have. Here, admit one on date sold. And yeah, these are cool. And this is blank on this side. Yay. And then these are Rochelle Salt. Some salt labels. Interesting. Corrosive sublimate. Wow. These are cool. Okay, I'm super happy with this one. Super, super happy. Look at these labels. Now, and not more wine labels. So this looks to me like the, the part of the wine label that would go on the top, like on the neck of the bottle, right? Yep, that's what it seems like to me. How cute. And there's, I got, what, five of these. Love it. And the colors are so Christmas, right? Green and red. This would be great for Christmas. And I just love her little red bow on her blouse. <laughs> Cute. And then look, some cigar labels. I'm so excited. My friend Sherry sent me some. She found, she thrifted some cigar labels a while back. And she sent me a few. And I kind of been hoarding them. Or I was until I, now I put them away for safekeeping. And I don't know how, where the rest of them are. <laughs> Uh, but I'll eventually come across them again. Oh, but these are so cute. Look, different ones. That is so fun. I know that these will definitely turn up probably in clusters. So I'm doing the Crafty Cluster collaboration on Wednesdays now. And these would be awesome as like maybe focal points in clusters. And actually this next one coming up... Um, I'm not sure when this video will go up, but I'm sure it'll be before next Wednesday. Next Wednesday is grungy. So these were actually probably go well with that kind of theme. How cute. Oh my goodness, look at that face. <laughs> it's going to focus. Oh my gosh, one thing is the worst for focusing. Okay. Oh, look at the eagle. These are all neat. They're all like all different. I love them. Look at that. That looks like a monk or something. <laughs> and then this last piece is, let's see, looks like some sort of card, Attack Nocturne. Could it be a piece from a book? It looks like a bombing. I mean, not the most pleasant of pictures, but it's interesting. 107, I love, those are my favorite numbers, 1 and 7, and, you know, 0 is neutral. <laughs> so that's cool. So this, you know, I mean, the colors and everything are nice. I mean, I could, like, tear it into pieces, you know, good for collage. If, you know, I don't particularly like the theme of the picture, but the colors and things. And if I just, like, were to break that, then just use the plane, you know, separately. That's cool. You know, we can always use our stuff, even if, like, whole, we don't necessarily like the picture, right? We can tear it apart until you cannot recognize what it originally was <laughs> and make it look pretty and positive. <laughs> so this is my uh, haul, I guess, my opening uh, or unboxing, uh, I don't know what you would call it, uh, from... Postal love. Oh my goodness. I love everything in here. Like I said, even this, you know, the colors and things I can use it. So yeah, let me know what your favorite thing was. I am loving this postcard. I, I might have to just hoard that and put it in my personal, um, my personal, what do you call it? Journal. <laughs> and yes, I love it. Let me know. Um, what was your favorite? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every moment that you spend with me, really. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.